Hello fellow travelers and thank you for joining me for this week's edition of Travel Insights. I'm Connie with Pack Your Bags Travel. Today I come to you from my office. I have a nice narrow shot so you don't see my mess that I have, but this is where all the action happens. Today I wanted to discuss uh, cruising very briefly. It is October and October 6th through the 14th is National Cruise Vacation Week. It's been going on for many years, but they do change it year after year, so i got to make sure I get the wording correctly. Uh, I thought I would give a brief description about what cruising is like. If you're not one of the 20 million annual cruisers, cruise passengers, then this could be a very overwhelming experience for you trying to pick your cruise line, your cruise ship, cruise destination. You have many, many options out there. So one thing is to consider the destination and how long you want to cruise for. Now cruises go anywhere from one week to 80, 90 plus days depending on what you're interested in. The average cruise is only seven days. In that seven days you can stop at several destinations. If you're sailing Alaska there are several ports that they will stop at and lots of times clients will choose to do a pre or post day so you can go into Alaska and explore the different cities within Alaska. Caribbean cruises are very popular. There's multiple ports to leave out of, out of the United States, even New York City, New Jersey, Boston, Charlotte, all over Florida, Texas. Um, and that's great because then you get to experience several different islands on the same ship. So instead of flying to an island and just staying there for the whole week or flying to one island, staying for a couple days, packing up, schlepping all your stuff to the airport and then going to another island and then spending time there, you can do that all on one cruise. And the same thing with Europe. Now, Europe cruises tend to be a little longer. Most of my clients go for at least 10 days, if not two weeks. You start in one country and you get to stop off at several different countries, depending on the cruise that you chose. And then you get to experience a wide variety of options in Europe. And it's a great opportunity in the Caribbean and in Europe, especially, to experience different areas so that you know where you want to go back to or where you don't need to go back to or planning in the future. So what is a cruise experience like? Well, cruises are fantastic. Love them. A lot of people I know love them, and 20 million annual cruisers, obviously a lot of people love them. The ships are ginormous. Uh, it's funny to talk to first time cruisers after they come back and they walk up when you drop off, when you get dropped off at the port and you walk up and you look up at this big ginormous ship. People can't believe how big it is. Clients will often say, oh, I don't want to be stuck on a ship in the middle of the ocean. What am I going to do? There are a ton of stuff to do. So when you first get to your cruise, you get on the ship, you got to get your bearings. It's going to take a couple of days usually to figure out where you're going, where your room is. When you get off the elevator, are you taking a left or you're taking a right? Are you going upstairs to eat or are you going downstairs to eat? It takes a little bit of time because the ships are so huge. But once you get your stateroom and you find your way around, you have all of your dining is included. Uh, there are multiple restaurants to eat at. Usually um, room service is free and included. And on some of the cruise ships, there are it's called specialty dining. So they have smaller, more intimate type um, restaurants. And there's usually an upcharge for those, but you aren't going to go hungry. There is plenty of food and plenty of uh, restaurants to sit down and eat at in the regular cost of your cruise. Of course, there's bars, plenty of bars, endless bars, all types of bars. You have bars in circle rooms, you have bars that look like you're in Central Park, you have bars that are um, all ice bars and you have to wear a coat and hat and mittens to actually go into the bar. You have bars by the pool, bars overlooking the ocean, bars in the disco, bars in the casino, plenty of bars. Keep you busy. So once you're on the ship, you're eating, you're drinking, you're having a good time, besides the pools, besides the hot tubs, what will you be doing? Well, depending on the cruise line and depending on the ship that you go on, there is an endless amount of activities. Above and beyond the uh, daily activities around the pool, or around the ship that are offered, the amenities could include things like um, rock climbing walls, mini golf on the ship, uh, ice skating, bumper cars, the new ship that's coming out. Uh, you have wine tasting or dance classes or cooking classes. There's some of the cruise ships have boxing rings or bowling alleys. The list is endless and goes on and on and on. So if you're not in port and you're sailing out at sea, there are plenty of things to keep you busy. If you're not the type of person like me, just sit around the pool with a drink in my hand and have the waiters keep bringing those drinks so you can rest and relax because that's what a vacation is for. 
So if this has enticed you at all for a cruise vacation, and being that this is National Cruise Vacation Week, several of the cruise lines, or I should say a lot of the cruise lines, are offering specials. And I decided just to highlight a few of them for you today. Their first would be uh, Celebrity Cruise Lines. Great cruise line, a lot of fun, and you'll be hearing more about them later in this month. They are offering a promotion called Pick Your Perk. So if you're sailing everywhere but Europe, you get to choose um, their free beverage package, which is their classic alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverage package. You could choose uh, onboard credit, which depending on the length of your cruise depends, it's either $100, $200, or $300 onboard credit, or you can choose free gratuities. Now if you're sailing Europe, and you book within the next, between October 6th and October 14th, you get to pick two of those options. Then we have Disney Cruise, another great option for families and not families. You don't have to have children to go on the Disney Cruise. They're offering a $100 onboard credit if you book the Disney Magic or the Disney Fantasy sailing January through March of 2015. Uh, we have Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean is offering their buy one, get one 50% off. So your first uh, passenger is full price and your second passenger is 50% off, which creates a lot of great sailings, especially on their longer cruises. Uh, Carnival Cruise Line is offering a two category upgrade. Now when they say two category upgrade, there are categories within the same category. So if you booked an inside cabin, you would get upgraded two categories, but it'd still be an inside cabin, same thing. So it's two upgrades within your same cabin category. And that's for sailings between now and the end of this year. And then I also have to show you NCL. Um, they go out of New York City uh, along with, a lot of them do, but NCL is really popular out of New York City. And they're offering, I'm going to look at my cheat sheet, 10% off your base cruise fare you get back as onboard credit. So 10% of your base cruise fare gets added to your onboard account as onboard credit. Now, because I mentioned onboard account, I should let you know that when you're on a cruise, there's no exchange of cash. Everything goes to an account that's registered to your room. It's registered with a credit card, one of your credit cards. And any purchases you do, whether it's alcohol, spa services, salon services, even casino play, the majority of the cruise lines have casinos on their ship. So a casino, you can play in the casino and charge it to your room. Very bad idea. Don't recommend it. People get in all kinds of trouble. But anything you do, even the gift shop, everything gets charged back to your room. So with NCL, you would have this credit on your onboard account that when you go on the ship, you can go ahead and use. So when it comes to cruising, there are a ton of options and it certainly can be overwhelming. But it is a lot of fun. It brings you to all kinds of destinations. You get to explore and see new things every day, not to mention enjoying all the fun on a cruise ship. Stay tuned next week and the next week after that, I believe, I used to have some... Um, special guests joining me uh, that can tell you about their cruise lines and their cruise experiences. So please tune in next week. Um, since you're watching this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on everything that I post. And until then, thank you for joining me and happy travel.